Do you know what happened on June 24th, 1878? June 24th, 1878 was the wedding date of the first black wedding to be mentioned in the New York Times and the Washington Post. This wedding was also mentioned in publications across the nation, black and white. And that was because it was the wedding of Mississippi Senator Blanche K. Bruce, who was the second black man to be a senator, and Josephine Wilson, a socialite who was also the daughter of a dentist. Now their wedding, which started on time at 7.30 p.m., because you know they say black weddings don't start on time, their wedding started on time, and it took place at the Wilson home in Cleveland. Josephine wore a white silk wedding dress with a ball gown silhouette. The Cleveland Gazette described her gown as, quote, covered with satin orange blossoms and her veil, quote, reaching the floor like a cloud. Now this was an intimate wedding as they exchanged vows in front of 60 guests. However, none of them were colleagues of the senator. I love that. Don't invite your coworkers to your wedding, but nor did they invite any of his family members either. The news and media would speculate quite a bit over their guest list and they assumed that the senator was continuing to distance himself from his past, nor wanting to invite his co-workers to his wedding meant that he was truly drawing a line in the sand about his personal and professional life. And when it came to his family, well, his brothers found out about the wedding through the newspapers, like pretty much everybody else. And after their wedding, Blanche and Josephine honeymooned in Europe for not one, not two, not three, but four months. Did you know any of this? And for those that love love and love black history, you're gonna love I'll Tell You What. So go ahead and follow us here and everywhere you can.